I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. This is the easiest version to learn. It's very much like Rummy, where you need four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. Since there are four of every tile, kind of like in a deck of cards, you can also get a four of a kind, which is called a Kong. So Chows, Pungs, Kongs. Three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind. We'll do some random pulls so you can see what it's like. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed up. We're going to do four random pulls. This is a wind of the round indicator. There are four rounds played, east, south, west, and north. So we'll do a random pull for each wind of the round. I'm also going to roll the dice just to kind of randomize where we're seated. This is not actually part of the game, but it'll, it'll just keep the exercises a bit random. So we're going to be in seat three, which is west, and it is east round. So if we get a wind of the round pung, which is east, we'll get a, a fawn for that. And then if we get a west wind, which is our seat wind, we'll get score for that too. So we're in seat three. These are bonus tiles. Two, number two. So this is the seat tile for south. So we won't get score for that, but we could at least get replacement tile. I like to put everything in suit and in order. So for this set of tiles, I would play a half flush, which is one suit with winds and dragons. Even though these are singles, we could maybe pair up, but we do have, actually we have two pungs, but here's a three of a kind here and a three of a kind here. Those are pungs. I think I might even split those out so we can get different chows out of them. So here's a potential chow. Here is a potential chow, and here is a potential chow. So we have one, two, three potential chows, and then these would be isolated. So we would have work to do to draw more cracks so that we could play a half flush, and we could do either chows or pungs. So sometimes it's okay to break up a pung to make a potential chow. And in this case, I think that would be a good thing to do. So we went from two sets with two pungs to three potential chows. And then I would discard these. Okay, we're gonna go to the next random pull. So this would be the south round. And let's just say we're in east seat. Oh, we're the dealer. We get an extra tile. East starts by discarding. So we'll start with an extra tile. So we have two flowers here. These are bonus tiles, but here we have a one and we're seat one. So we'll get a score for that. That, that would be one fawn. The three we won't get score for, but the one we'll get a fawn for that. So I'm gonna get replacement tiles. So let's see what we could play. So I think for this, I would try for a half flush. Bams with honors. We even have a pair. We could pung the north. Here's a potential chow. Here's a chow right there, or a potential pung and a potential chow. So you have flexibility with these numbered tiles. So I would start by throwing these away right here and try half flush. 
Now we're going to do the west round. Let's just say we're in South Sea. We have wins. We got to pair them up though. You can't do much with single wins. We do have a flower. This is a bonus tile. It's a number four and we're in seat two. So this won't bring us any score, but we can get a replacement. I think for these tiles, I would try for a half flush, which is one suit with winds and dragons. We have a lot of pairing up to do to use those honors, but there's some potential chow in here. Here's one and here's one. And then we could discard these. Half flesh. North round. We're going to be east seat this time. Oh, we get an extra tile because we're the dealer. We only have one dragon. All Oh, there's a west. Yeah, not going to be too helpful this time though. Oh, look, we have one, two, three pair and they're all eights. I think I would try for all pung, all three of a kind. We definitely have to pair up more though in order to get more pungs, but we have three potential right here. So I would play all pung here, all three of a kind. It's okay to mix suits if you're playing all pung. That would be a three fawn hand. Oh, and one for no flowers. We have no flowers. So that would be another fawn. If you want to learn how to play, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. And also there's a link to this player reference so that you can learn the scoring. And on the back is instructions on how to play. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.